Hi friends, I promised you a little video about how to use Canvas in case you haven't used it before. And I've been trying to make this video for quite a bit right now, <laughs> today, and it keeps freezing on me here and there, so I've had to start over numerous times. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to show you about Canvas. Uh, first of all, I'm already in the dashboard, but all you would do is on your um, computer, your laptop or your computer, is in the search line, the address line, you just type canvas.pointloma.edu. And you want to remember that wherever you want to go on um, Point Loma, if you're sending an email or uh, you want to use Zoom or whatever, it always is like canvas.pointloma.edu. And you have to completely spell out Point Loma. So I've already done that. And you can see this is my dashboard. And um, there's only one course on it because I haven't published ours yet because I wanted to send you this first. Excuse me. So you're going to look for, in just a, a few minutes, I'm going to have this ready for you. You're going to look for um, a picture that says learn on it, Ed 6000 or EDU 3002, and you just click on that, and it takes you to Canvas. And I'm going to show you the student view, because right now you're seeing what I see. You're seeing my view. I'm going to turn it to the student view. It turns a nice pink color, doesn't it? So, um, like I said, this is uh, EDU 6000, and this is the home page, and I'm really sorry that it's showing all of this, but um, that's all right. We'll get through this. So here's the very front page, and it has the um, course catalog copy of what the course is supposed to be about, according to the catalog. And then it has um, some ways to contact me. And I will tell you, I want to be up front with you, that if you email me at the Point Loma email that's on here, um, I get tons of emails every day, and yours will get lost in the shuffle. The better thing that to do is, um, I'm going to show you in, the min in a minute, the modules. Um, you're going to remember that word modules, because we're only going to pay attention to modules. No matter what else you see, you're only responsible for the things that are in the modules. So in the modules, let me just open one. And the modules is what you're going to follow because it basically tells you what to do. Um, you're going to take, right away, you're going to take a little quiz, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But in every module, there's this thing called Ask Your Instructor. And so you go to that and you click on it. And it gives you some instructions how to use it. But basically, you just do a reply and you ask me a question. And I will check it every day, if not twice a day, if not more than that. And um, then I'll write you a response. And it'll show up back in this uh, Ask Your Instructor. You'll get notified that I re responded, but it'll, ask, it'll answer right here. So it was sort of, we're sort of skirting around um, the um, email system by doing this. Um, and the other th But the thing that's really good about it is you might ask a question like, I can't get this to upload or whatever, and other people are having the same issue, they can read your post and then they can go, oh, for my answer, how, this is how I fix it. So it just makes it a really nice place to, to sort of have everybody gather and, and, and find answers. Um, the only thing is, if you want to talk to me privately and you don't want everyone to read it, because if everybody in our class has this available, they can all see it, um, you, could, you would just write, um, Dr. Posey, could you please call me? Um, and then leave your phone number if you're willing. If you're not, um, then I'll just, leave, just say, please call me, and I'll, I'll get your phone number, and I'll call you instead of you trying to call me. Okay? This works the best. Uh, it's been really awesome. Um, there is an email system within Canvas. <laughs> and if you um, use that, it does not go straight into my email. So it's another place that I have to go and check. And I didn't even really know it was there. And then all of a sudden I realized there were students writing that one. And I, I just can't, 
handle it when they're all over the place. So if you would, if you try to do it this way, um, and then I'm in a minute, I'm going to tell you about something else that we're going to do too. I'm going to go back to the home page. And so um, then after this contact information, there's a list of um, expectations for this class. And you need to read them carefully because the very first thing you're going to do uh, for this week is you're going to take a little quiz on this um, list of expectations. We will not be doing another quiz in this class. This is the only time. Um, and you're welcome to move, you know, look back at the list of questions as you answer the quiz. Um, that's absolutely fine. I, the, the point is, I just want you to understand what you're getting yourself into and, and sort of know what, we're, what I'm expecting before we start. Um, and that's that. Um, so that's pretty clear, I think. Um, the only part of it probably that you'll want to spend some time reading is about late work. Um, Canvas has a way of just turning on and off late work. And um, so and it gives you different percentages of being redu reduced for having late work. So, okay, let's go back here to home. Everything you need is going to be on this side, this left side of Canvas. Um, it, you've got the syllabus is here. And you can read that if you would like to. But it also talks about another way of getting a hold of me. These are my office hours, Mondays and Wednesdays from 4 to 6.30. Tuesdays from only 2.30 to 3.30 because I'm teaching that night. I teach you. <laughs> Thursday from 1.30 to 5.30. And any one of those, you can either, um, any of the purple ones, you can come to my office or you can um, Zoom with me if you want to. Um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm not in the office, so you'll have to Zoom with me. And um, there'll be a link down here, which I haven't done yet, but there'll be a link for you to um, sign up for one of the times during the office hours, and um, then we'll see each other. Um, you know, you'll be with me in class. And my other class that I teach is, uh, well, several of them, but they're online. But you'll be with me. So if you need to talk to me too, you can just say, hey, Dr. Posey, can I you know, come see you on Tuesday or can I see you on Thursday or, or whatever, okay? So then we're going to go to modules. And I, I want to get rid of the student view. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. So when you click on modules, it opens up this list. And this is for instructors, not for you. Um, and then there's the quiz that I was talking to you about. So you'll be taking the quiz in this first module. Um, and this is the, what we're doing the first week of class. We will not be meeting next week. Um, it's called a Canvas Start that they do over the entire campus. And um, so you're going to be doing a week's worth of work on your own. Now, remember, a week's worth of work on your own equals four and a half hours of class time and supposedly two hours for every hour you've been in class. So that's another eight hours. So it's a total of 12 hours of work. I don't think what we I have for you will um, take you that long. <coughs> but just so you know. Um, this is that expectation quiz. There's only um, 11 questions to answer. Um, then there's this thing called fun with technology. There, there's a lot of technology in this course um, because most colleges of education have a, a full three-unit class on technology for teachers. But here we decided that we would embed it in mostly this class. So I this... Um, week, I want you to fiddle around with the things you're going to be doing coming up. And it, it tells you what to do for each one of these six um, activities, six sites. Um, I'm going to be putting another video sort of telling you how to get this embed code off each site or how you would turn in whatever it is you've made 
Um, and that video will go right on here. I'm going to do it right after I'm done with this with you right now. Um, because that's the, the hard part of it, of each of these, is that you've got to turn them in, whatever you make. The making of them doesn't seem to be a problem, but the turning in seems to be a problem. So just remember that um, to watch the video about how you get an embed code and also um, what some alternatives are, because you can always take a screenshot of something and turn it in um, for the most part. Some of these things are you're making videos and that kind of thing. Um, so you can't really take a screenshot of a video, but um, we'll get we'll get through it. You'll be fine. But I just want you to practice. So you're going to be turning in six different things. Canvas only likes to have you turn in one thing, especially when they're the same sort of thing. Like if you turned in a video that you made and then you turned in a reflection, um, you can do that. It'll take both of those because they're two different, you know, platforms. In this case, um, they're all sort of the same thing. So you can, the way to, to get around Canvas is to put in one of these, like the first one, um, submit it, and then put the others in the comment section to me, just list them. And then I can, I can click on them and I can... Um, I can open them then and I can see them. I'll just, I always will look down in the comment section. So a lot of students will write, you know, um, Dr. Posey, I didn't understand this part very well, or, um, you know, I got COVID and, you know, so it's another way to get a hold of me. But when you're supposed to turn in stuff, um, you, if, if you and I've talked and we've talked about you having, um, a different, a different way to do something. You just got to remind me in the comments so that I won't um, expect that you're going to do things exactly the way I said or whatever. I don't know if that made any sense. But I'll just say like I'm using right now, I'm using something called Screencast-O-Matic. And um, there's other things like Screencastify. I don't care what you use. But you have to let me know that you use something different. Okay. So that's the way the modules work. And the mod, you'll only see this week, this very first module. Um, so you're going to do those six things. You're going to build a simple website. So we're ready to go with that. And all the instructions are there step by step. And then you're going to have a partner in this class. And your first job with your partner is here. And it tells you all the instructions of what to do and then here is the list of partners and I'm hopeful that I have all your names on there and they're spelled correctly um, I took them straight off the roster so they should be fine so the reason they're on there is you're going to need to contact your partner for this um, especially for the activity the activity that's coming up um, in this the next activity but the way that works is if I was um, Shay's partner, all I do is go to Point Loma email and I start typing in her name and her email will pop up. So um, that's how you would get a hold of your partner. Okay? And the instructions are there. First, you're going to answer some questions about yourself and they're going to make and then you're going to make a poster of that for your partner, a poster of what they told you about themselves. So I would answer it, you would answer it, and then we would exchange it and make posters. And then, let me go on here. Next. The next thing you're going to do is building a great teacher. And you're going to, again, it has instructions, um, but you're going to be working with your partner again to do this. And um, you're going to send something back and forth. And really, it says to talk on the phone. And I'm hoping you can do that. But also, people do it all, in all sorts of ways. Um, and this is what you're going to be reading. So partner number one is going to read this. Partner number two is going to do this. And so you're teaching each other the part that you did. Um, so you don't end up reading the whole thing. Okay? That's what we're doing the, this week. When you um, finish an assignment, um, if I should, could go back to, okay, let me go back to student view. So when you finish an assignment, 